Well, for this week's WeatherWise segment, I wanted to go over some interesting ways that animals and insects can actually predict the weather. Let's start off with some ants. Now, if you keep an eye on the ant hills in your yard and you see those hills looking a little bit larger and taller than usual, then we may have some rain on the way. And the thought of that is because a higher entrance mound will prevent any rain from kind of filling in on that colony. Now, ladybugs, they're a telltale sign of warm weather when you see plenty of them, but when it's cooler, they are nowhere to be found. Bees and butterflies, who usually frequent flower beds, will disappear when there's some incoming bad weather. And birds are a great way to tell air pressure. When there's high pressure, they'll fly high in the sky, meaning that it's nice and clear. But when areas of low pressure move in, it actually is painful for birds to fly that high, so they fly lower. Therefore, if you see fl birds flying low, you can expect some bad weather. Frogs, this is an interesting one, are known to croak louder and longer when there's rainier weather ahead. Now that's because frogs partially breathe through their skin and with higher humidity levels they can spend more time out of the water and that makes them happy so of course they croak. And finally we're talking about this groundhog. Now this is more folklore than actual fact. When you see the groundhog sees his shadow of course you expect six more weeks of winter but when there's no shadow that means there's an early spring. And believe it or not there's actually quite a few groundhogs making predictions on February 2nd. This year there were 13 that made a prediction and just so you know Puxatawney Phil is only right about 40% of the time so I'd say rely on your local meteorologist.